Welcome to day seven. That's the NCLEX step by step seven day training, and we're finally at the end of our seven day training. So, we've been working very hard since day one, and I want to make sure that everyone that is either listening to this live or you're watching the replay, make sure you go back to day one to day six, because in each day we covered important information that is going to be beneficial for your success. So watch every single video from beginning to end, take notes. And I know that if you follow that, if you do what I'm telling you, you are going to start seeing better percentages on your Q banks, on your uh, whatever Q bank that you're using, you were Kaplan, Archer, whatever, you're going to start seeing some drastic changes on your answers. And how do I know that? Well, I've been doing this for more than five years and I've, I have seen the comments from other nurses like you watching this review that they have mentioned that it, it has helped them drastically. All right, Miss Fronseca, thank you for supporting our YouTube channel, Yusel Nunez. Thank you. You've been firm every single day. You've been here in our live review and you've been supporting our channel. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Maribel Mercano, thank you, Maribel, for supporting our YouTube channel. Thank you all for helping us. So day one, we talked about understanding the NCLEX world. You were able to see the difference between a recall and recognition style question and an analysis and application style question. You were able to see what we call the five key factors of an NCLEX question. And that gave you a founding step, a good step forward in order to start analyzing this NCLEX style questions the right way. Then day two, day three, and day four, we focus on NCLEX categories and we talked about each category and we practice questions related to each of the NCLEX categories. And then your critical thinking started changing during those days. Day five and day six, it was an awesome training because for two days we talked about prioritization. We talked about critical thinking. You learned about the when to call the doctor strategy. You learned about other very important strategies that if you have not seen it, you have to go back to day five. Day six, yesterday, it was a wonderful training session. We talked about select all that applies. I know that select all that applies style questions are very, very uh, difficult for you guys. And I wanted to share some of my knowledge when it comes to select all that apply questions. Thank you, Maribel. Thank you, Benita Vialet. Thank you for supporting our YouTube channel. Uh, I see some people from Kenya. Welcome. Welcome everyone from Kenya, the Philippines, Haiti. I know all over the world. We got nurses from all over the world and I am so happy about that. I was uh, looking at my YouTube channel yesterday night or the day before yesterday and I saw we had like more than 40 different countries that have been joining our YouTube channel and our YouTube videos. And I, <clears throat> I am so thankful to God for that. I never thought that I was going to be able to do that. We focused so much for the past five years with the Spanish community and we've, we've been doing great. We've, we've done great. We, and we are in a, in a lot of countries, a lot of Spanish countries all, around the world, but it's been four hardworking years. It's uh, it's taken us four years to grow that YouTube channel. I think it has right now um, about 4,500 subscribers, our Spanish YouTube channel. And we've been working for four years 
uh, nonstop. And I've been so surprised that in less than two weeks, our NCLEX Crusade International channel jumped to almost 3,000 subscribers. And I like to thank you all for that. I know that you are liking the, the content that I am providing, the information that I am providing, and I am very grateful for that. There's gratitude in my heart, and I will do everything I can to support this community and to help this community the same way we have been doing with our Spanish-speaking nurses for more than four years. Thank you, Janetsi, for supporting our YouTube channel. Thank you very much, Alexandra Troncoso, like always, been here every single day supporting our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. All right, so let's move forward because we have several things to talk about tonight and I want to give you guys an opportunity to ask questions as well. So I will be monitoring the, the chat as soon as we get to that session, the Q&A session. So if it's okay with you guys, hold your questions until that part. That way I can focus on the chat area and I can see all your questions and I can respond to all your questions. So I'm going to try to make this uh, live between like an hour, an hour and a half, but I would love to respond to every question that each one of you guys have, or at least do the best I can to answer those questions. <coughs> okay. Nice days. Thank you for these classes I joined yesterday. I have been watching from day one and I'm learning a lot. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome to NCLEX Crusade International. Uh, Ms. Raisa Espinosa, thank you for uh, the super sticker. Thank you very much. Thank you for helping our YouTube channel. All right, so I have talked to you since day one about the importance of developing your critical thinking and the importance of applying prioritization strategies. And when I started thinking about creating this seven day training, I debated in my mind, I asked for God's guidance on what is the best thing that I could do with this community that has joined our YouTube channel. And I decided to do something different than what exists today in days. Like I've mentioned before, there are a lot of great mentors out there. I am, I'm not going to mention any of them in particular uh, to be respectful to everybody because I do believe that every mentor has something valuable to share with the community. And you can always learn from everyone. And of course, there's, there's going to be people that like it. There's going to be people that don't like it. Like... For example, I know that there's going to be people that love the way I teach. And there's going to be people that say, well, I don't like the way he teaches. I don't understand the words that are coming out of his mouth. And you know what? It is okay. It is what it is. So I am here for the ones that want to learn. For the ones that want to have a humble heart and say, you know what? I got something to learn from this guy. This uh, Cuban that... Uh, English is his second language. There's something I can learn from him. And for those, I am more than uh, humble to teach and to guide you. And I appreciate that you have found guidance in me and that you have seen that I can make a difference in your NCLEX preparation. So I decided when I created this seven day training to focus on critical thinking, to focus on prioritization and not so much on content. And what was the reason behind that? Why did I decide to do that? Thank you, Miss Merciful Diamond for supporting our channel. Thank you, Jeanette Columbi. Thank you for supporting our YouTube channel. 
So why did I decide to do that? Why did I focus on critical thinking and prioritization? Why not do another content video? Because you have enough content out there. There are so many good people out there that they're great at what they do. They have great resources and they teach good information. But I noticed that what doesn't exist out there before NCLEX Crusade International is critical thinking. Very few mentors, very few mentors cover critical thinking. Very few mentors talk about critical thinking and prioritization strategies. So what I want to do is I want to make a difference in that area. What I want to do is I want you to have somebody to follow and learn critical thinking and prioritization strategies. Okay. Why? Why is that my focus? Very simple. That is what makes the difference between passing and failing. From day one, I have mentioned that content is important. Yes, content is super important, but you need to learn how to apply critical thinking. You need to learn how to apply prioritization strategies. Without critical thinking and prioritization, you're probably not going to pass the NCLEX. And I know this because over and over we've seen students taking the NCLEX once, twice, three times, four times, failing, and they don't know what's happening. They say, what is the problem? I have used QBanks. I have studied with many professors. I have used the Saunders. I'm good in content. What is happening? What is happening is that you're probably weak on critical thinking and you have to change that. Okay. Very good. So I got our advisor, uh, two of our, our uh, helping um, advisors in the chat section, commenting on our telegram group. Make sure that you are following our telegram group. And I'm going to talk about that next. Okay. Uh, hello, professor. How can I keep in touch with you for tutoring, etc.? Uh, everyone out there is teaching content, but no teaching on how to apply uh, content and critical thinking on NCLEX style questions. Thank you, Shia. That's very true. Uh, you sell prof. I believe there is a scammer that is offering to uh, join the academy. Uh, no, uh, if you're talking about uh, Brani Tavares, uh, you sell. Uh, Brani is with me. He's, uh, he has my permission to share information with you guys. Okay. So do not worry. We got it. We got it tight tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, what Brani is a, uh, is sharing in the comment section. He's sharing the link to telegram. The same as uh, our advisor, Lisbeth, she's also sharing our link to Telegram so we can stay connected after our seven day training. Okay. Jennifer, Professor, you and your wife, Lee Dixie, are two excellent mentors. I am blessed to have you both as my teacher. Thank you. Thank you very much. Natasha, to all my Haitian nurses, to those who speak Spanish also, please join NCLEX Crusade in Spanish. You will not regret it. Okay. Yes, absolutely. If you speak Spanish, if you're a nurse that you speak Spanish, there, there is a lot more for you because uh, we've had our academy for four years. So there's so much stuff in Spanish that uh, you'll be here all year and you still have more stuff to learn. For our English speaking nurses, this is something new that we're doing, but there is something valuable in that. Okay. The, what is valuable in that is that you are getting the experience that we have acquired in four years of NCLEX preparation. I feel bad for my beginning nurses, my beginning students, because I, I didn't know much. I knew the critical thinking part, but 
I think our, like our first classes was in a, in a Word document. I feel bad for them. It wasn't even like a PowerPoint presentation. There was no academy. We didn't have nothing recorded that they could see. And, and, but it, it, it's part, it's part of our history. And we, we've grown a lot since then. Thank you, Beverly, for joining our live. And thank you for supporting our YouTube channel. Uh, Fariba, thank you for teaching critical thinking. It's wonderful. wonderful. It is my wish. All right. Thank you very much. So what's next? What am I going to do next? What's going to be our next few steps? Okay. My goal, what I'm, what I'm doing, what I'm thinking of doing, what I'm thinking of doing is we will create another seven day training. Okay. And I don't have a, a launch day yet. I don't know exactly the day that is going to start, but since now, as soon as I'm finished with this seven day training with to, uh, tonight's live, I am going to start thinking of our future seven day training. And as a matter of fact, I would like when, when we get to the, to the Q and a section, or, or you can even comment now, if you want, I would like to know if you could pick what the next seven day training is going to be about, what would you prefer? What topic, for example, do you want a seven day training on pharmacology? Do you want a seven day training on ethics and laws? Do you want a seven day training on, uh, EKG? Do you want a seven day training on whatever, whatever you want the seven day training to be? I'll think about it and I will create something for uh, our YouTube channel and we can do another seven day train. Okay. So if you can comment on the comment section, what is it that you would like? And my advisors, they will be monitoring the chat. We will be collecting some information and we'll think of our next seven day training. Maybe we can do a mixture of two topics. We can do so much. We can do so much in this YouTube channel that can help all of you guys drastically. Okay. So I see some topics, pharmacology. Anything you want professor will be good. Increase my sound. Okay. Let me, let me put my sound a little bit higher. Is it, is it better there? Let's see. I'm going to raise it a little bit. Okay. Maybe it's a little bit, is it a little bit better there? Can you hear me a little bit better? EKG in pharmacology, dosage calculation. So I, li I see a lot of pharmacology. Okay. Uh, psychiatry, mental health, critical thinking and EKG. A mixture of pharmacology and interdisciplinary approach, style questions, SARA, selector that applies, critical care, strategies. A professor, make it a few different topics. Infection control. Okay. All right. So I've, I've seen a few, a few topics that is uh, coming up frequently, pharmacology, EKG, and mental health. All right. So we will, uh, we will do something like that. Okay. Perfect. So I have seen a lot of students that have been contacting me requesting for me to mentor them and do private, private tutoring. I wish I could do one-to-one -one tutoring, but I can't, I don't have the time. We have right now over 500 active students in one program in our Spanish Academy. And we have 172 active students in another program. And we are starting, uh, 
another three new courses in less than two weeks. So I don't have the time, unfortunately, to do one-to-one -one training, and I don't have the time either to commit and say that I, I, I will do a live course with all of you. Uh, I like to be very straightforward and, and honest all the time. And I wish that that doesn't hinder our relationship. It's just that I can. I have a wife, I have a family, and I have a lot of things that we're doing at the same time. But I came up with the next best thing that I think can help and, and be beneficial for many of you, okay? Especially that I know that there's so many of you around the world that you're struggling, maybe you're even struggling financially, and you just don't have uh, $800, $700, $800 in your pockets to spend on a review uh, that basically you don't even know what that review is going to be about. I'm, I'm being as straight as forward as I can be and as honest as I can be. So I came up with the best next thing. In our Spanish Academy for several years, we've had something that, that we call practice classes. And these practice classes, we do it online. We do it on Zoom. And basically, we meet for three hours and we practice different topics together, okay? What I do is I select 12, 15 questions uh, about different topics and I do a little bit, of, uh, little bit of content and critical thinking, prioritization, and strategies. And some classes, they're basically just questions, no content. Just practice questions together, critical thinking, and I ask the student to participate and think with me and I see how they're thinking. I give them feedback and we do that for three hours. So I'm thinking if, if that is okay with some of you, if you're willing to do that, if you want me to mentor you that way, what we can do is I can try to do at least once a week, maybe not every week, but at least once a week, we can find a day and we can practice questions for three hours. And basically, uh, I have some classes that I already, uh, that I, I have already created. EKG, I have two EKG classes. I have a respiratory class. I got several prioritization strategy practice classes with very good question. And what I want to do is I will offer that to whoever wants to join those live Zoom classes. Now, in order to participate in those Zoom live classes, I will be providing the information in our Telegram group. So that is, is very important. I have both of my advisors very often providing the link to our Telegram group. Okay, you need to be in the Telegram group because there is where I'm going to post the links to join the live class and to pay for that for those live class. Okay, what is the price that I charge for those live classes? The, the price that I charge for them is 25 US dollars. It's something very minimal. Okay. The, and, and I keep that. That's what I do with hundreds of my Spanish nurses. Okay. I am willing to do that with you guys, whoever is interested in doing that. However, if you cannot afford that, if $25 is too much for you because you are on the other side of the world and $25 is not easy to come around then basically I will continue providing free content for all of you here on our YouTube channel and I will continue doing those seven day trainings very often to help those students in need that basically don't have that, okay? 
If you can afford it, if you're looking to pay a mentor and you want somebody to help you and you want to join those live classes, then you can do it. And the price for those live classes is going to be $25. I hope that's helpful. That's the best that I can do with the time that I have and all the things that I got in my in my in my box right now to deal with. I'm a very 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 busy guy. But even being so busy, I have found the time to create this training for you guys and help all of you around the world prepare for the NCLEX, okay? Uh, let me see. I see a lot of you guys uh, contact, uh, commenting on the chat. Steven, amazing idea. Thank you. Sarai, very interested. Angelina, $25. That is perfect. Um, wow, amazing. The class is on point. <laughs> Take advantages. Denise has, has been on several of those classes. And yes, the ones that I'm talking about is English. Yes, correct. It's going to be the same thing that we're doing, just on a Zoom meeting instead of YouTube. Zoom meeting is better. We can, we can communicate back and forward, and I can listen to you because I need to listen to, to see how you're thinking in order to really help most of you. I have to see what's going on on the other side. It is great to hear this. It is great to learn this. And yes, it's going to make a difference. But if we interact together, it's going to be a lot better. So usually those classes are very small, usually like 25, 30 students, 40 sometimes. So we have the opportunity to interact a lot. Okay. Um, how many hours and days? Uh, run Seth usually one class is $25 the one class and it lasts about three hours okay so for example if we say okay we're gonna meet Friday at 5 p.m. and we're gonna talk about EKG for example we're gonna practice questions about EKG when I say that that class is gonna be $25 and we meet for three hours about three hours three hours and a half sometimes. So that's, that's how it works. Okay. Uh, Gisela, I love the idea. Uh, please teach you, let us know what are the classes. I really need to re reinforce pharmacology and pediatrics. Uh, Marie, I am sure you give the opportunity to everyone because it is only 25. That's great. And you're amazing, Professor. I'm doing the best I can to help you guys out. You know, I could sit here and say, you know what? Yes, I'm going to give another course. I'll prepare a course real quick. I have enough to prepare a course and say, I'll give a course about and then you have to pay $700. But how many of you? that are here don't have that. I know. I know that there's plenty of you. Remember, I, I'm Cuban. I came from Cuba. And I've noticed the countries that many of the countries that you are connecting from. And I know the whole world is struggling right now. Even USA is struggling right now. So I think this is the best. You know, I feel that that is the best. The best, financially speaking, the best for me, time consuming and I think I can help more people like that. Maybe, maybe later on, maybe later on I do something else. I I'll create a course for you guys. And, uh, but hopefully by then you are completely gone with this. You're done. You're a registered nurse and you have been able to fulfill your dream. We have been uh, waiting. Also, we're creating a lot of content for the new uh, NCLEX that is coming up in on April, April, 2023. So that's why I don't want to take my focus away from that because that is taking a lot of our time and preparation for the future NCLEX. So um, I think this is going to be good for, for most of you. Uh, three hours is perfect. 
Uh, do I need to postpone the NCLEX day? It's beginning of April. Yes, Vanessa, I will start doing this um, probably first two weeks of April. So if some of you have the NCLEX before then, then we're not going to be able to do much because we're going to be um, on vacation soon as well. Um, Karina, everyone, please take this advantage and opportunity. Thank you, Karina. Um, all right. Uh, those of you that I, I saw one of the comments that said that there's a few nurses from Haiti that you speak Spanish. If you speak Spanish, call our Spanish Academy. <clears throat> we have a lot more for that. And uh, Lisbeth, if you can share the Academy number. Um, okay, please. If you can share the Academy number to for them to call the Spanish side so they can talk to you. Uh, I always forget the number. 352-565-4256, I believe. Is the number, but if uh, Lisbeth, if you can confirm for me, please. Um, can you please start the Zoom as early as tomorrow? Uh, she, I can't because we're gonna be on vacation, so we're we're gonna be out of town. So even if I wanted to, it, it, I won't be uh, available. But. Uh, Chia, use everything I've talked to in these seven days. Listen to it again and practice a lot of questions. All of you guys that you have your NCLEX in the following two weeks, you need to practice good quality NCLEX style questions, critical thinking style questions. You have to practice at least 75 questions per day but make sure you're, that you're practicing critical thinking question, not only basic content questions, and use these uh, strategies and critical thinking that I have taught you, and you will do much better. Trust me on that, okay? Trust me on that. Uh, okay, so everyone, please make sure you're joining that Telegram group because you need to be connected to that Telegram group in order to receive the latest information. Okay, I see a, a lot of you guys uh, have joined. Excellent, very good. Okay, and another thing that I will do for those who join our Telegram group, whenever we start the the live Zooms on each class, I will pick, okay, a few students and I will give you a free access to those classes, okay? I will pick a few students and I will, I will have you guys join the live Zoom without paying. I know, uh, uh, I know who I'm gonna pick, basically, I'm going to pick the ones that I know that they're, they're very supportive, very interested, especially if I know you're around the world and you, you're struggling financially as well. I'll, I'll try to help out that way as well, because either way, I will be doing a live class and I will, I will help some of you. Okay. Uh, I cannot do that with everybody, of course, but I'll try to pick a few people in each one of those classes and help you out, okay? So that will be very beneficial to, to those students that simply can't, don't have the money to afford even $25, okay? So I would, yeah, it will help. It will help greatly too, okay? And don't forget about me, professor. <laughs> I won't, I won't forget. I have, I have read your comments, some of your comments on, you know, our YouTube channel and it, it's been great. Awesome. The things that I'm hearing, your expressions about this seven day training has been wonderful. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for those kind words. Uh, it really inspires me.
to to continue to continue working to continue creating these seven day trainings and to continue helping all those nurses that need help okay don't leave me out professor <laughs> Maribel, trust me, I am an NCLEX Crusader. They are the best. Never seen such humble uh, people. Uh, my teachers are the best. Thank you, Maribel. Thank you very much. All right. So very good. So now you know the next steps they're going to be. So I uh, mention it again. So you're aware. The next step will be we will be creating another seven day training. I will think about the topics that will be covered and the, and the day that I'm going to do the live training is going to be probably in a few weeks. Number two, we're going to have several uh, live classes that we're going to be giving on Zoom where I will provide a, a, a link to register in our academy, in our website, and the cost for those classes, they're going to be $25, okay? It's going to be for three classes, for three hours, I'm sorry. And in, a, in each one of those classes, I will pick somebody. I have one or two nurses, three nurses that I, I will give them access to our class for free to help out. Okay? So I want to, to set those points clear. Okay? Now, hear me out. Very careful with this. In the Telegram group, I know that there are some scammers that they're hidden between the nurses and they're asking for money from nurses that are in that group. Do not send a single penny to anybody. Do not send money via Zilli. Do not send a, a, a wire transfer. Do not send a, I don't know, whatever it's called around the world. Don't send anybody money that you don't know. I am not asking for money from anybody. Okay. The day I launch the class, you are gonna know it's me because I'm going to post a video with me in our telegram group. It's going to say, hi, this is professor Ray. I am doing this class live on zoom. This is the link to Razor right here, right now. And it's going to have the access to my academy. And you're going to see that is me. Okay. If somebody contacts you privately and they're asking you for money, it's not me. Don't, don't believe it. Even if you see my photo, even if you see my face. Okay. And if you're in doubt, say, call me back. If, if you are doubtful that somebody's asking for money and you think it, it might not be me, tell that person, call me, call me. I want to know. I want to make sure that it's the professor. Okay. Because the only place that I will put the links will be on the group, on the big group. I am not sending it to people personally requesting money personally. Be very careful with that. Okay. All right. Okay, perfect. So our next session of our live, I want to have an open, an open Q and a question. So basically you are free to ask whatever question you have, and I'll do the best I can to answer those questions about your NCLEX preparation, about what to study, about how to study. Any question that you may have, I'll try to answer. I don't have a whole lot of knowledge about documentation. Okay. Uh, documentation wise, but I will be working on getting somebody to help so I can help in that area as well. But for now, if you ask me a bunch of information about licenses and documentation, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with that part. Okay. But I'll do the best I can. So I will be reading the chat section little bit by little bit. So focus on asking a, a concrete, a specific question. And I will read question by question on everyone. That way I answer everyone's question. Okay. All 
All right. So I will have this here in front of me. Okay, so I'm reading the chat to, to see the questions that you have. Mabel, please, I need help completing and passing my NCLEX exam. Mabel, we're here to help you. It will be a, pr a, a pleasure to help you. Rafa, thank you, Professor. I will be taking the NCLEX April 1st. I will do the best I can to apply critical thinking uh, on the, the things that you taught us on the seven day training. Uh, Rafa, yes, use that. Please let me know when you pass your NCLEX. Send me a quick message even here in on, on YouTube or whatever. That way I know that you pass. If for whatever reason uh, you don't pass, which I hope that's not the case, but for whatever reason that happens, be completely sure that I will be here to help you. Okay. Odimar, uh, I already take the uh, Spanish classes professor, but I will definitely join the practical English questions uh, just to practice. Excellent. Good. Uh, Dalsis, professor, thank you all. Yesterday I got my test and I passed. Wow, congratulations. Wow, congratulations. I did 76 questions and I passed two hours. Wow, awesome. Congratulations. Very, very good. Uh, Madupe, what do I need to know as an English mental health nurse living in living in the US? I don't understand the question. Uh, Modupe, very well. Can you rephrase it? Uh, thank you, Janina, for supporting our YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Uh, Ganiat, Professor, please, can I use a 2018 QBank NCSBN test plan for the preparation? Okay. Uh, Gania, the NCSBN test plan, yes, you can use for your preparation. You can use those resources to know the categories and the topics that appear on the NCLEX because it is still uh, correct. The QBank itself is good. The NCSBN QBank is good. I do believe it's uh, focused more on content, though. Uh, I think that there are resources out there that focus more on critical thinking and maybe could be more beneficial. Um, Aminata, I am taking mine on Wednesday. Okay, Aminata, let me know. Let me know how it goes. Uh, often... Often is not an absolute word. No. Uh, Mercy, can you kind, kindly explain more on content? Uh, well, that is a very open question. I don't know what specifically do you want to know about content? Because content is a big, uh, big word. Uh, Gretchen, how many questions per day should we practice? Gretchen, it depends on where you are on your uh, preparation. For example, let's say you're five months down the road. Then there is no need to, to go crazy on practicing questions, a lot of questions every day. If you have five months to prepare, you could do anywhere between 25 and 50 questions per day. 
and focus a little bit more on content. So content, practice, content, practice. However, if you are two weeks, three weeks, four weeks through your test day, you should be doing at least 75 questions per day, minimum. Because the more you practice questions, the more you develop your critical thinking. And like I've said before, critical thinking is very important, okay? All right, professor. I have Archer Bank. Do you think it's the best one? I'm not too familiar with Archer. I have seen some questions that some students sent me. So I don't want to give an opinion without really knowing the QBank. However, I use and why I usually encourage is the UWorld or, or the Kaplan QBank. Now, if you're investing in the Kaplan QBank and all you want to do is practice questions, which is what you have to do, get the basic one. I think it's $99.99 or something like that. And they give you a discount as well. So it's very inexpensive, at least here in with USA eyes. And it will be very helpful, okay? Because I don't really know much about Archer, okay? I've, I've seen a lot of people using it, but I cannot uh, comment too much on them. Uh, professor, we need more of you on this journey. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Tanya, when you have a question and it limits down to two answers and both answers are true statements, do you always go which, which, which one that is less safe? What I have two options that I am debating in between. What I try to do, I go back to the stem of the question again. I read the stem of the question again and I determine two key factors. Client's problem, okay, the patient's condition, and if I have information about the patient's age, gender, etc. Then I go back to the answers and I try to find the answer that best relates to the topic of the question. Or I use a critical thinking strategy to prioritize if it, if it is a priority question. Uh, Cynthia, professor, my knowledge on content is low. What strategy should I use? If you're low on content, Cynthia, I think it would be very beneficial to you to buy the Saunders book, 8th edition, and start by practicing with Saunders questions as you review each chapter. Then, once you start getting a little bit better on content, you world will be very good. If, if any of you are weak in content, the best cue bank to help with content and also do some critical thinking is you work is a little bit more expensive than Kaplan, but it is a good resource. Thank you, Sylvia Torres, for supporting our YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Uh, will we be having some questions on the Telegram group? We can. As a matter of fact, I will, once we start meeting, uh, I'll, I'll select a few, of a few of you guys to be the, the question creator for each day. And then uh, I'll be monitoring that chat as well. And I will be posting uh, questions also, uh, doing some videos also. Remember, I I'm still working, okay? I'm still working and, and continue to help the YouTube channel as well. Adalisis, Adalisis, you were with me all the time. God bless you. 
please all of you listen to everything the teacher says because yesterday I used all that this is the one that passed the NCLEX Rolando out here I am a racer nurse I passed on January 14 2022 thank God the Academy and the professors are best Ray and Lisi thank you thank you Rolando Professor, so when you get your NCLEX report back and you get near passing in all topics, do you need to go back to content or do you need strategy? If you're getting near, uh, how many questions? If you can tell me, Yolunda, how many questions specifically did you do? But usually, if you're getting all near, what you're, what you're missing is prioritization and critical thinking. You have to work on that. Mikael, any Q banks? You were Kaplan. Vanessa says you were good rationals. Archer is cheaper too. Good for assessment. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn says whoever say Archer is too cheap, you <laughs> you wrong. I don't, I don't know. I don't know much about them, but I, I've heard a lot of students using them. E. O'Dion, I have the sixth edition of Sanders. Can I manage with that? I think it's too old. You need maybe seven. It's okay. Eight Sanders, eighth edition, preferable. Six, I think it's too old. You need a better one. And I can provide you, if you're in the Telegram group, I can give you a the 8th version, um, PDF version. It won't be the physical book, but at least you have the, the PDF. Thank you, Miss Louise Brown, for that the super sticker. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks for your help. Thanks for donating to our channel. Uh, Abinesh, professor, I had a patient fall question and it was a selector that applied. When the wife cooking in to protect the husband is to move adjacent room is safe. I think what you're talking about is if you have a, a patient that is um, unstable or at risk of falls, the best location for that patient is near the nurse's station. I think you're talking about that. Kaplan have different different packages. Like I said, I don't work for any of them, so I don't I don't know the whole details about prices. All I know is that I've used Kaplan myself and I've practiced with Kaplan and I, I have encouraged Kaplan to many uh, many nurses. Uh, Vanessa Sanders does help with content professor is right. Janae Yero, thank you Janae for supporting our YouTube channel. Thanks for helping us. Uh, says thank you for Pro Professor Rainier and Lee Dixie, Lisbeth for all your work and support to all of us. God bless you and God bless your family. Thank you Janae. Uh, we love you. You know we've been together for for quite some time and you're the next best. Uh, Tamara, thank you for uh, supporting our channel. Thank you for your donation, Tamara. Number one fan. <laughs> uh, Sadis says uh, Archer starts at $29. Okay. Anna, thank you for your support, Professor. Uh, Anna, Anna, Anna Lacey Paris, 
Thank you for your donation and support for our YouTube channel. Uh, Philip, have you seen Pixel Rice? Mm, no, I haven't heard about that one. I haven't seen it. Ogiani Fontaine, thank you, Ogiani, for supporting our channel. Thanks for your help. Uh, Jocelyn says, Archer is Sounders. For if you didn't know that, I didn't know that. Thank you, Jocelyn. Uh, great, uh, great info. I didn't know that Archer was Sounders. Good to know. Uh, Sadith. I pay one ninety nine for Kaplan for one hundred eighty days. Okay, yeah. If you get the, I think the the minimum Q bank that Kaplan offers, I think it's like ninety something for six months, unless it changed recently. Gina Tavares, I need help with content. I just started Sounders 8 edition. For the, the Spanish nurses that I've seen commenting about content, I, I know because of your, your, your last name, in our academy, we do have a lot of content, uh, a lot of content uh, classes that can help you out. So make sure you talk to our advisor about that. That will be a, a good help for you. Uh, Sadith, thank you for your super, super sticker. <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, have, I don't know what's going on with this camera today. There you go. Gisela Cummings, I can't wait for the Zoom classes. Thank you, Gisela. It will be very good. Trust me, you'll love it. Jenny, Professor, this is my question. I got a question from, from Archer's Q-Bank that states, what is the least appropriate intervention for the nurse to do? Please, can you clarify what least appropriate is? Least appropriate means you're looking for a wrong answer. That is a negative statement style question. So you are looking for an answer that is incorrect or the least appropriate because if it says what is the most appropriate you're looking for a correct statement a correct answer least appropriate means no good okay okay any more questions come on i thought you guys would be like Questions away. Anything that you need about NCLEX preparation or was the seven day training so good that you have no questions? <laughs> Chioma, hello, sir. How are you doing? I am doing great. Blessed. How about you? How are you doing? Philip said, yeah, I don't think Archers is Sanders. I don't know. I don't, I didn't know that. I'm going to have to do some research. Um, let's see. Uh, Crafts, craftsy nurse mom professor which one is best for content Saunders or Kaplan Saunders Saunders for content Odimar Kaplan has just Cuban for 180 days for 99 uh, practice pack 279 the cat plus the channel yeah Odimar just a Cuban you don't need to get all those. You don't have to get crazy. You just a cue back. Practice question.
You mean on the in the Telegram group? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that, no problem. When is the Zoom going to start? I really want to attend before I take my exams early next month. I'm thinking first, second week of April. We'll do our first class. Oh, I see. I understand now. Uh, Abba Inesh. Uh, the question was about a home, not at the hospital. That... Okay, if he's talking about a room, what would be the best room? It's kind of hard because I don't know what the whole question entitles. And I have to see the question and the and the type of answers. But I will say whatever room is closest to where the uh, caregiver is going to be at, that's going to be the best, the best room. Thank you, Vivian, for supporting our channel. I appreciate it. <laughs> Gloria Carter, I have had a hard time remembering my labs. What do you suggest? Should I write them out daily? Uh, Gloria, people people learn different. Some people are more visual. Some people are more like uh, auditory. Like me, I, I, I learn more by hearing. I'm a musician, so I, I learn more by hearing than reading. So you have to find out what's, what works for you best. It might be repeating it out loud. It might be reading it. It might be having like a, a to play it back to you. You have to try different things. But one of the things for people that are visual, that learn by 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 uh, seeing things, reading, a good thing is in your in your room where you study, get like a like a big piece of paper and write the labs there. And every time when you wake up in the morning, go and read it. That's usually very, very helpful. Fariba, uh, give us every day on Telegram a lesson or an advice or a technique or something. Okay. Let's work on that. Maria, can you explain comparable or alike or similar? Maria, we talked about this yesterday. Make sure you see uh, day six of our seven day training. I talked about similar or alike, but basically similar or alike answers are two answers or three answers that makes the same statement in different words. For example, uh, is, this is just an example. So you see the, what I'm trying to say. You can say the patient can have breakfast in the morning. Or I can say the patient has breakfast at nine o'clock in the morning. It's the same thing in the morning or 9 a.m. is the same. It's the same thing. So that's kind of the idea or uh, maintain the patient NPO. And another answer says the patient is not allowed to eat. It's the same thing. NPO is similar or alike. Uh, Philip, this is many people in some NCLEX group is having problems with your question regarding acute pain versus risk of bleeding. Oh, I know. I know that I know that that's going to be very difficult to understand because there's a lot of wrong information out there. Even QBanks I've seen making this mistake, but it's very simple, Philip. And do is the day of your exam. If they're asking you to prioritize and you have a real problem, okay, versus a potential problem, a real problem has the priority over a potential problem every day. Why? Real problem exists already. Potential is something that hasn't occurred yet, has the possibility of occurring. That is not the priority. Donna Thomas, professor, did you pass the NCLEX on the first time? Yes, 
I did. I studied for a month. I didn't have much time. I studied for one month. At that time, I used Kaplan and Pearson, I believe was the book that I used. I didn't know the Sanders then, but I, I wasn't a big reader. I've never been a, a, a person to study a lot. I've always been a, like a last day test taker kind of thing. Always been like that. I'm very good at doing tests and reading and, and analyzing and critical thinking. Always been very good at that. So I studied for about a month. I finished nursing school December 14th. And then I took my test. I think it was like February 1st or something like that. And I passed with 75 questions on my first attempt. My wife also uh, took her test and she passed the NCLEX with 75 questions on her first attempt as well. Uh, David Avila uh, is asking, I'm interested in your program, Como Vencer el NCLEX Paso a Paso, which is a how to pass the NCLEX step by step, the Spanish version. Can you say a few words about that? Yes, David. Uh, David, so basically that is a, a course that we, cr we created. The focus of that course is to teach our students uh, critical thinking and prioritization strategies. And basically it is a, a six week course. And the benefit of that course is that I give my students access to that course unlimited until they pass the NCLEX. Rather than charging them all the time for the same course, I give them the benefit of using that until they pass the NCLEX. At least that is how it is right now. Uh, when, when the new NCLEX comes around, everything's going to change. But for now, that's how it works. And we work every, every, every two days out of every week for six weeks. We meet Monday and Tuesday at 8 p.m. on Zoom. And we talk about different things. We provide strategies. And we practice questions together. We talked a little bit about content, but not much content. And that has been our, our number one uh, course for several years. And we've had a bunch of students. We get like sometimes 10 students past the NCLEX in one week. So it has been a very beneficial course for uh, a, lot, a lot of our students. Uh, Rolando, thank you. Number one fan, thank you for supporting our channel. I appreciate it. Uh, Abanish, about sickle cell, oxygen or hydration, which one is the best answer? This one is a little bit difficult uh, question, uh, Abanish, because it depends on how they write the question. But usually, the first intervention for a patient with sickle cell is to provide fluids, hydration, because by providing hydration, you're going to help both the circulatory side and the oxygenation side. But I don't know if you remember the question that I put the other day. The answer was to give oxygen. There was no fluids available. And the closest thing to fluid was the uh, insertion of an IV catheter, but that wasn't it. But I have seen a lot of questions with sickle cell crisis, a patient in a sickle cell anemia crisis, and the prioritization is hydration, administration of fluids. I hope it helps. Um, no, we started at five. There was a, a, a time change here in the U.S., Maybe, maybe you got confused because of the time change. Miss uh, Odion, professor, I'm taking my exam on the 29th. What should be my best plan of action with the rest of the time? Practice questions every day. Do 75 to 100 questions. If you can do more, even better. Question, 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 question. No time for content now. A lot of questions. Thank you, Yusel. Thank you for your kind words. Tanya, on the practice question, do you recommend reading and writing down the rational 
I'm not a big fan, Tanya, of writing down rationals. This is the reason why. I see a lot of students with notebooks and notebooks and notebooks of rationals that they never read again. So all you did was waste a bunch of time writing those rationals that you're never going to look at them. And just by writing the rational one time, that's not going to help remember anything especially if you're writing hundreds and hundreds of rational. So me personally, but it works for some people. You cannot go by what works for me or doesn't work for me. For me, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But some students do it and it works for them. But I think it takes too much time. So I kind of agree with you there. Shade, uh, the use of Mona, Mona, they use it in patients with MI, myocardial infarction, and it means uh, the administration of mor morphine, oxygen, nitroglycerin, and aspirin. So it's just an acronym that they use to remember those medications that are administered during a, a myocardial infarction. Uh, Gillian, Archer and Saunders are similar, not the same. I used the Archer's Bank after listening uh, to the seven day training and my score went from 40 to 60 to 70%. Wow, excellent. And Lester, the QBank for Kaplan, you have to go to their website. And I think you gotta buy it on the website. I think, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Tan, Tanha. I don't know how to pronounce it, but somebody that just uh, uh, gave a, a donation to our YouTube channel. Thank you. I appreciate it. Maybe if you can comment, how do I how do I pronounce that? I don't want to mispronounce your name. <laughs> Samantha, yeah, that works. That makes sense. You can do that. I, I did that with like a, a pH 7.35, 7.45, 7 then the CO2, the same as the pH, but take the 7 out, 35 to 45. Uh, the sodium, 135 to 145. So yeah, you can use it. Um, it works. Any, any, any little tip that you can use to, to remember, it's good. The problem is, is when you overuse them. When you overuse those tips, then it becomes useless because now you got a bunch of uh, mnemonics that you don't remember. That's the problem with that. But Eva, what about if the dose of the medication change and we do not have access to the doctor while the medication has to be given on time? I don't understand the question very well, Fariba. Can you can you reword that question, please? Grafsi, um, will the Zoom classes fall on weekends or weekdays? I'm trying to, to test it out, Craftsy, to see how the whole group is, what is more beneficial. If I see that maybe the weekend is better, maybe I do it like on a Saturday morning, but if doing the week work, works fine, I might do one during the week. It depends on how the whole group does. Uh, Jalens, professor, can you explain what patient need to be put close to the nursing station? You need to put close to the nurse station patients that are unstable, patients that are confused, patients that are at flight, flight risk, that they can run away, uh, psychiatric patients, those type of, of patients. Samantha, thank you for uh, the support. Thank you for that. Super sticker, I appreciate it. 
uh, our support team, if you can provide the Telegram link and the comment section for Andy, he wants to join the, the Telegram group. Uh, Arnold, which QBank did you use from day one? I use Q, uh, Kaplan all the time. It was actually the only the only Q bank I used. I think I tried a little bit the NCS. No, no. I used the Q, the Kaplan, but I also used the the Pearson's uh, Q bank at that time. It was very famous, but it was too basic, way too easy. I w I was getting like 80, 90, 95 percent on those. Uh, questions and I discovered it was too easy. So I kept using the, the Kaplan. Thank you, Modupe. We'll see you on the live soon. Thank you, Liliana, for the super sticker. Thank you for supporting our channel. Yes, if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and like our video. Help me out with that. I've been uh, saying it on every single day of our seven day training. Uh, like our video, help us out. That way other students can see it and can learn and benefit for, from this seven day training and share it with other people as well. So please do like this video right now. We have 262 live nurses. Hit the like button, support our channel that way. It takes no time whatsoever to do, but it goes a long way. It helps us out and it helps a lot of nurses out there. Thank you, Odette, uh, for supporting our, our channel. Waiting for the English version too. Absolutely, Niarai. But meanwhile, we're going to work with those uh, Zoom classes, okay? We're going to start with those Zoom live classes, help you guys out, start getting that critical thinking going, practicing some questions together, have the opportunity to interact with me live. That's going to be very beneficial. Gabriela, do you think that to study content and pass in addition to knowing strategy is enough with a UWorld bank? Yes, Gabriela, many students use UWord and it's sufficient. But I have students that they don't like UWord or they have taken UWord and take the NCLEX and fail. So it, it, it depends. But I think UWord with content and strategies and critical thinking is, is enough. Is the NCLEX score different from state to state? No, same. Same exam same characteristics, same evaluation guidelines. Ron Seth, about hepatitis A, remember that hepati hepatitis A is a oral fecal uh, transmission. So anything that deals with uh, that route, drinking or uh, or a fecal route, you have to be careful. The ones that uh, are bloodborne, you know, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, that's what we're thinking about, more about hand washing. But hand washing is an excellent, excellent uh, technique to prevent the transmission of pathogens, okay? Good hand washing, it is a very good answer. But remember that hepatitis A is autofecal route administra um, administration, autofecal route uh, transmission. My exam is very soon. Is there a specific topic I should study on pediatrics? It's always been my weakness. Pediatrics. Uh, a lot of infection control on pediatrics, um, immunization on pediatrics, 
eh, growth and development milestones, eh, safety, use of toys, safety for the pediatric patient, uh, toilet training. There's sometimes stuff about toilet training. Um, poison, poison on, on pediatric patients. That's usually the most important points on pediatrics. Samantha, if you don't mind, could you explain more about management and when appointing a nurse from pediatrics or maternity to ortho or med surge? Which patient to assign? Okay. So general guidelines, Samantha, when it comes to uh, assigning patient, this has to do with delegation. Okay. If a nurse is coming from one unit to another unit, Remember, you have to give that nurse the most stable patient. And also, if you can find a stable patient that has a condition that is similar to what that nurse is used to treating in her unit, then that's usually the right patient for that nurse. That's usually the guideline when it comes to this type of patient assignment. Thank you, Donna. Thank you for supporting our YouTube channel. Wow. Thank you for that super, super sticker. Professor, you mentioned 75 question, Mr. Avanish every day. So only one uh, bank you were a Kaplan. Which one should I choose? When I finish the whole bank, can I redo the question? Is it helpful over and over? Thank you. Great question. This is what I usually say. If you're weak in content, pick your world and practice your question. If content is not your problem and you want to practice more critical thinking, how you're thinking style question, pick Kaplan. And my uh, suggestion, after you're done with the QBank, next. I don't like the students that go over and over and over and over the same QBank because then they start memorizing the questions and answer. And then they give false reassurances. They get false reassurances. They think, oh, I'm doing so good. I'm getting higher percentage. No, it's because you're memorizing the answers. And that's going to be bad in the long run. Uh, Fariba, if there's a medication that needs to be given, but you're not sure of the correct dose, or you think there's an error in the dose, you can admit administer the medication. You have to hold it until you talk to the doctor. Viva. Professor, does the computer adaptive test keep track of our previous attempts and ask questions based on our previous attempt? Absolutely not. No, not whatsoever. Lester, this is a general question. What tips can you give to be able to focus on answering questions during the exam and not distracted by other stuff? The key, Lester, is focus on the five key factors of an NCLEX question. So have that in your mind. Okay, who's my patient? Female. What's my patient problem? Uh, she's having abdominal pain. Okay, where's the pain? Right lower quadrant. Okay, where is she at? She's in the ER. Okay, uh, is this a content or priority question? It's a priority question. Excellent. What strategy can I use? Uh, Maslow's hierarchy of need. Use that strategy. That way you're focused from beginning to end, because otherwise you start falling into the what if syndrome. That's what I call the what if syndrome. 
you start adding stuff to the question that doesn't exist. So that is the key. Uh, Tanya, I won't do a Zoom before before April 1st. I'm sorry, I, ca I can't. But just, uh, just keep practicing questions. And if I see that you're telling me you use UWorld, if you are done with UWorld and you're retaking UWorld again, I think you should try another QBank. Don't take the same one. Practice other questions. Grace, what is the passing mark for the NCLEX? There is not a specific passing mark on the NCLEX, Grace. There is an imaginary passing line, but it's not on a number. It's the, the types of question. Once you answer higher thinking question above the passing standard style of questions, then you pass the NCLEX. And those are questions that are analysis and application. Thank you, Angel, for supporting our channel. I appreciate it. Thank you, Anubis. Bertis. Thank you for supporting our channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Lester, for helping our channel out. Uh, Tichi, what do you think about the Princeton Bank? Gabriel, I don't know much about the Princeton Bank not enough to give an opinion so try it out i heard a one of our students that passed the nclex last week i heard him talking about the princeton's bank and he said that it worked very well for him but i don't i don't know enough to give you an opinion okay Karu, is it always ABC? What about level of consciousness versus ABC? Excellent question. Okay. No, it's not always ABC. It's not always ABC because your patient, for example, your patient could have altered mental status and maybe the priority is a neurological response, not a circulatory response. So you have to determine if it makes sense to the condition. That's why... Maslow's hierarchy of needs strategy, step number three, it is essential. You need to identify if it makes sense to the condition. So if you learn the steps I taught on Maslow, I think it's going to help you out a lot. Okay. All right. Well, I think uh, we're good for now, guys. I'm going to take off. Thank you for being here. Make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Some of you are not subscribed to the channel. Make sure you are. Click on that subscription button. That way you don't miss any videos or future lives that we will be doing. Make sure you have joined our Telegram group. Uh, our support team, please post the link to our Telegram group once again so they can see it and join us and it has been a pleasure it has been a pleasure to interact with you guys for seven days during our seven day training i really hope that each one of you understand that in order to pass the NCLEX you have to develop your critical thinking i hope you see a chance that you can really, really pass the NCLEX. I hope that you can see that my teaching can help you. I hope that you find guidance in my, in my words, but have faith. You're going to listen to me saying a lot of things in our videos that you probably never heard before. And you may even question it sometimes, but trust me, on this. What I'm teaching you will help you pass your NCLEX. Have faith and use it. Don't question it so much. 
follow it, apply it to your practice questions. And you're going to see that it, your, your scores are going to change. And bottom line, you are going to pass the NCLEX. Thank you very much. Thank you for everyone that has connected to our channel and watch every single video. Thank you for all of you guys that have supported and uh, has given us donations for our YouTube channel. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for trusting us. Thank you for being here with us. I wish you the best. Let's go get those licenses. You can become a registered nurse in the United States. If that is your dream, it can become true. I did it. Cuban guy, 27 years in the United States. I didn't know English. I learned English here. I was a police officer before. I didn't know anything about medicine. If I did it, if I learned, and I am here teaching you, so can you. So remember, have faith. It can happen. God bless you all. Bye-bye.